crack of dawn, get my teacher, put my old boots on, and I'm gone. FNT's Tailgate Adventures is brought to you by FNT's Fur Harvesters Trading Post, Kelly's K Lights, Ultra Advantage Dog Food, FNT K9 Classic Hunting Dog Boxes, Dan's Hunting Gear, United Kennel Club, CH Publishing. Wild Spirit Guide Service, Midnight Hunting World. Hello and welcome to FNT's Tailgate Adventures. This week's episode takes you to Richmond, Indiana. We were down there uh, Labor Day weekend for Autumn Oaks. Mm -hmm. And the Wednesday night uh, before Autumn Oaks really kicked off, we got out with Darius Cole and some rather famous dogs. Yeah, these are, uh, he brought some well known stud dogs. That's right. You're going to have to watch to see. Who he brought out that evening, but Darius owns actually Darius owns four very well, well known, known stud dogs. Yeah. Very well known stud dogs. Some some serious uh, prefixes in front of their name of a couple of those. <laughs> That's true. But uh, you're gonna have to watch and see which two dogs we took out that evening. All right, it's a hot summer evening. We're uh, we're down at Autumn Oak, and tonight we're hunting with Darius Cole. And uh, Darius, who do we have with us tonight? We have Brandon Hathaway. And we have a youth hunter that won a pup out of Extreme X here at an Indiana youth hunt. Oh, His name's Jared. That's great, Jared. And so now you're going to see how the daddy does. Yeah. All right. And uh, you've got a lot of uh, famous dogs in the kennel. We'll talk about that later. But tonight we're going to hunt with the X. We're going to hunt with Extreme Insane X and Nocturnal X. That's what we're doing. All right. Well, we got a, a guide to show us some timber down here around Richmond. And I think we're going to cut in this, uh, this creek bottom here. So uh, let's see what he let's does. Do guess we want to cut him up the creek here. I guess this was a creek. It was a creek once upon a time, huh? Yeah. If we wanted him to go that way, we should have pointed him that way, huh? Yeah. I don't think he's going towards the freaking light. Guess he wanted to go towards the camp. Now he spun on us, Darius. Is uh, he got struck? Looks like up there in a culvert. Is he usually a pretty quick strike dog? Oh yeah, good strike dog. He uh, strikes when he smells it. Yeah. Not until then. That's a nice attribute. It is a nice attribute. Not Some, a, or sometimes a, my dogs are missing that attribute. <laughs> no bad one. Yeah. I'm not seeing any bad one from either one of these two tonight. Great. Him and the coon probably found the only wet spot in this whole creek bed. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> like it. Well, it sounds, sounds like he circled back around, snuck past us here. Yes, he did. Is he open uh, pretty consistently on track, or is he going to ambush him after he gets struck in? Well, by himself, he kind of ambushes a little bit. Yeah. Uh, if he's hunting with other dogs, he goes constant. Yeah. So, you know, Extreme Insane X is a pretty well-known name. People have seen him in the winter circle, seen him uh, in the ads, but uh, maybe everyone doesn't know the, the breeding. What is the breeding on... Uh, Extreme Insane X is an X Junior uh -huh. and Insane Jane. Obviously, both world champions. Um, Nocturnal Nailer. Uh, yeah, X Junior is out of Nocturnal Skipper. Um, and out of a bit that was called uh, Big Time Trixie. Yeah. Toy Hardy in Missouri on the razor. Um, Insane Jane is out of a female that's off of Naylor and Silas Rube, which was off of Harry. Um, Jane was 2005 world champion. X Junior was 2001 world champion. And um, in a, in a pretty short pedigree, a pretty long list of wins. Yeah, a long a lot list of big wins. wins. A lot of big wins. Jane and X both. Yeah. Um, 
Jane, she's placed in top 16 in the PKC World three times. Um, placed in the AKC World top 16 twice. She was uh, Kansas State champion twice and Missouri State champion once. So she done a lot of winning at an early age. Well, Extreme uh, isn't that old himself, is he? He's two. He's two, so he's done quite a bit of winning early on. Yeah, he did. Yeah. A lot of pups on the ground? Or? I bred, I bred him to 10 females myself. Wow. And before that, he's right at about 40. Okay. Females bred. How long have you had him? I've had him since March. Okay. And of course, we're going to see Nocturnal X later on this evening. But you got another famous dog in the kennel that uh, we had the pleasure of getting out with last year. I have Buck Creek Mr. Smith. And, and he too has done his fair share of winning. He has done his fair share of winning. That's a, that's a pretty high power kennel you got out there in Nebraska. That sounds a little better. Sounds like that might be it, huh? Sounds like that's it. Well, let's get up out of these mosquitoes and go Free see that dog. Guys. That's right. <laughs> Oh, sure enough. Hanging out over the lane. Well, Darius, it's hot and it's dry, but uh, we got one tree. We can give uh, Nocturnal X a try. Let's do it. And then uh, get another one tree, and then what do you think? Turn them both out together and get sure. crazy? Yep. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. put us in some water and they sure did that yeah and uh, I guess we're gonna cut up this creek but uh, before we do Darius we got it we got another youngster join us on this drop yes we do this is Lauren Lester Lauren Lester won a puppy out of Nocturnal X at the same youth hunt Jared okay won his pup so we got we got a, we got another young hunter that's going to uh, see the daddy of their pup run this evening that's right all right that's great well um, I guess we cut him up there and and see what happens Now, is he going to hunt somewhere to uh, yeah, same, stream and same? Same type of hunting. Hunt? He's going to open when he strikes a track. He don't, he's not loose mouth or nothing. Um, just strikes a track as they come to him. And 
Yeah. Moves him out pretty good. Pretty open by himself, or? Um, no, he's yeah, both ways. He'll open on track, decent. Um, but he can do a lot of layup coons. He trees a lot of coons. Just shut mouth, come tree and have coons. Yeah. He's pretty good at winning the coons. So. And you've been doing most of the hunting with him. Yeah, I've been hunting him for a while now. Okay. Now, Darius, I got to ask you. You got the. You got. We've talked about quite a few famous dogs in the pen. Is the is the plan to to make some crosses with these uh with these big name dogs and come to some super walker dog is that the game plan that's what we're shooting for um we got some pups coming out of x we got some pups coming out of xy uh smith we're gonna get i'm gonna get him bred to an x junior female and we're okay keep trying to find that cross okay find that sweet spot <clears throat> and i've also been talking to another guy he owns uh, Coma Stylish Legend. Okay. And I'm going to do some breeding back and forth with him too to try to get the mouth back. Okay. Okay. And uh, what about on the ground right now? Do you have uh, you got some up and comers in the kennel right now or out and about with these dogs? We do. Uh, well, we just had the first litter out of Nocturnal X. They're seven, seven weeks. weeks old. Xy's got a few litters on the ground even before I had him. Mm -hmm. And the uh, oldest litter, I believe, is 13 or 14 months. Okay. And they're starting early, and uh, they're doing really well. Good. Doing really well. And you're gonna have yours trained here pretty soon? I don't know, it's only a couple weeks old. <laughs> a couple weeks old, so it might be a little while? Yeah. All right. Wow, it sounds like he is way down there. You get up the ditch all right. Um, what do you think, Darius? Maybe we should just get back up to the cornfield and get down there and get closer to him? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's do that. Well, as we made our way up out of the creek, sounds like he made his way back to us. Yes, he did. Sounds like he's hitting up? Yeah, sounds like it. Well, let's get in there and see if we can find a coon. All right. Well, he picked a heck of a hiding spot. Yeah, he did. That, that cottonwood tree or that sycamore tree would have hidden a coon, and those two suckers that came up together. Yeah. But, uh, so I think what now the game plan is uh, to take him and make another drop and turn him and Extreme Insane X out together and and get wild and crazy. Let's get wild and crazy. Let's get wild Let's and crazy. It. Let's see what happens. Well, I was only kind of kidding about this being crazy, but these two dogs have never seen one another, so we don't know what's going to happen. We don't. Well, Mike promised us we've got some big timber. These dogs can get as crazy as they want, and we won't be near roads, and we can split tree if necessary. So let's uh, let's walk them back in here and come up that corn and see what happens. Let's do it. All right.
Must have got around down on that corn. Yeah. Struck off the end of the road and went left handed, I think. Yeah. And you're going to be uh, getting Extreme Insane X ready for uh, an unveiling later this year? Battle of the Breeds. Battle of the Breeds? In Oklahoma, we'll be there. Okay. Now, Darius, you got a couple pup winners with us this evening, but you've actually donated quite a few pups and stud bees and whatnot, haven't you, as of yes, late? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, these guys are the future of our sport. Got to support the youth. Absolutely. Got about, what, uh, four to six pups already this year and a bunch of stud fees out there? Six pups. Yeah. And I, I can't even count the stud fees. Several. Yeah. Well, the fog's rolling in, and it sounds like they're about to roll up on a tree, aren't they? Sounds like it. Sounds good to me. Sounds pretty Head solid. Away. Yeah. Guess we Thanks. go over around the gate here. <laughs> we got in there. Pretty good little piece, I think. Well, back from a, another uh, long walk to another difficult tree, big locusts and heavy cover, and once again couldn't get a coon to look at us. But, um, you know, it's been a dry night, and it's been dry around here, you know, for last several weeks. We've had some hard times, you know, getting coon running. It seems like they either run very early, you know, late afternoon or, or early in the morning, you know, and depending on when they're thirsty, I guess. But uh, and you guys had quite a bit of haul. I sure appreciate you guys coming out here, uh, you know, and meeting up with us. I know you were coming to Autumn Oaks, but you didn't make me drive all the way out to Nebraska, so that was appreciated. And uh, we talked about, uh, you know, Extreme Insane X's pedigree earlier, but we didn't talk about Nocturnal X. What's his line of breeding? He's out of uh, Nocturnal Nailer semen and okay. X Junior Coma bred female. Um, her name's Get Back Jesse. Okay. And uh, just we bred Jesse. Well, right back after X Junior died, Jess wanted to try something on the nailer semen, so we made that cross, and that's what he's out of. Okay, and uh, and you guys said that uh, he's been laid up for a while, and he's what, just a four-year-old? He's a four-year-old. Um, he's been laid up for about two years, granted out young, um, and then we sold the boy in Georgia, and then Darius bought him back from him, and he's only actually been hunted about the last two months again. I see. So, Okay, and Darius, you said uh, you got the first litter on the ground out of him. Just Seven recently. weeks old. 
out of a kahuna female. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, hooking up with us. And, and uh, the Lesters and the Daltons, appreciate you, uh, you know, bringing the youngsters out with us. And I'm sure they all appreciate the, the pups and the stud fees and everything else you've been doing for the youth. And uh, that's just, that, that's awesome, you know. That's uh, the least we can do for uh, those that are going to be coming behind us, I guess. That's right. So, it was a long haul out here for you, but I sure hope you enjoyed yourselves. Oh, I did. And uh, I had a good time, Brandon. I appreciate yeah. it. Good meeting you. Good meeting you. Darius, I appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. Until next time, this is another episode of F&T's Tailgate Adventures. F&T's Tailgate Adventures has proudly partnered with these fine kennels. Chris Brett Kennels, Oak Ridge Kennels, McCoy's Black River Kennels, and the home of Buck Creek, Mr. Smith, Extreme Insane X, and Nocturnal X. F&T's Tailgate Adventures is brought to you by F&T's Fur Harvester's Trading Post, Ultra Advantage Dog Food, F&T Canine Classic Hunting Dog Boxes, Kelly's K-Lights, Dan's Hunting Gear, United Plan One Together, we'll be all over the country, so huh? Scene 8. All right, I get Mike promising us that we're in some big timber, so we'll have all Midnight kinds of... Hunting hey, hey. Uh, all I'm getting is the top of the head. Okay. And Wild Spirit Guide Service.